Y'all, tell me why my man who ain't my man, but I say, or at least I act like is my man, but is definitely not my man because he fucking ain't worthy. He has the audacity to text me at 9 p.m. Are you coming? Sir, we have not been on good terms this whole fucking week. Today, we barely even messaged each other and I kept my responses short as fuck. I work tomorrow in the morning and it's foggy as fuck. What the hell do you think? Yes, <laughs> I fucking drove, guys. I drove to his house and I'm actually right here waiting for him to get in my fucking car because your girl is stupid. I did not learn my lesson in 2020. Oh, you lordy. And here in lays the problem with most young modern women today. Some things just never change, do they? They continue to chase the bad boys, the alpha chads who ghost them, flake on them, don't call him until 9 p.m. at night, and when he does, it's just a simple text, come over, you coming or not, right? And obviously, you know what he wants, right? He's just, he's just texting her for sex, because if he were to take her out on a proper date, he wouldn't be texting her at 9 p.m., right? He would have made plans days in advance, like, okay, make sure, baby, Friday, we're going to dinner at 7 o'clock, so I'm going to pick you up around 6, you know, and all this other stuff that most nice guys do who get stepped on do, right? They make plans with their girl in advance, they make sure everything's ready, they make sure they clean their car, right? It's all waxed, ready to go, make sure they go to the gym early, make sure they take their hot shower, get all nice and spiffy for her, then they show up for their date. And the girl's like, oh, hi, doesn't appreciate him, doesn't value him at all, even though he put in all this work for her. Nope. Nope. She's out there in her 20s chasing the alpha chads, the bad boys, the guys who don't make plans with her at all, haven't talked to her all week, just like she said, I haven't talked to him all week, then all of a sudden he calls me at 9 p.m. at night? Are you kidding me? What do you think I am? Oh, by the way, I'm at his house. It worked. It worked. Oh, my God. Oh my. And you see how excited she is. You see how excited she is that this guy is challenging her. He's not falling into her frame. He's not living in her reality. He's living in his own reality. Okay? He's like, hey, I was sleeping all day. I'm up. Now I'm awake. It's like almost 9 o'clock. You coming over? And... She's, she doesn't dare ask him, like, hey, wait a minute, before I come over, are you going to take me to dinner? Are you going to wine and dine me? Are you going to buy me something? Food? Anything? I'm just supposed to come over and throw down? Put out? He's like, yeah. Okay. But this, I mean, and you know, I don't, I'm not painting all modern young young women like, you know, with the same broad brush. Not saying they're all like her. I'm just saying that she is becoming a very common example of what young modern women are today. Okay, whereas, you know, back in the day, I mean, even though we had girls like this back in the day, right? Like I said, history repeats itself. It was not as common as it is today. A lot of the females out there are like this, right? They will go for the bad boys, the alpha chads, in their 20s, they will ride that carousel. They will let these guys just rail on them, you know, blow their backs out. Just run around out there in the streets. And then when she hits that epiphany age, you guys know what age that is. Right? When she hits that epiphany age of 30, that's when she'll be like, you know what? I'm done with these jerks, these a-holes just messaging me. At like 9 p.m., 12 p.m., midnight, never taking me out to eat, just using and abusing me, then ghosting me the next day. I'm tired of it. I don't want any more of this. I want my forever man. I want my beta provider. I want the man that is not going to be ghosting me after sex. I want somebody I can depend on who's going to be reliable, who's going to be home at night, who's going to take me out on a proper date and treat me like a lady. I want a man who's going to treat me like a woman. I've never felt like a woman. I've just 
been treated like a slut all these years. Well, you know, stop acting like one, right? Stop acting like one. You guys see this in action every day, right? You see girls like this who, and you know this girl, right? She's not bad looking, cute. Yeah, I mean, she's a cute girl. I mean, she's not like super hot or anything. I mean, but, you know, she's a pretty cute girl, right? I'll tell you right now, this chick has dozens upon dozens. Even not, not being that hot, she's just cute, right? She has dozens upon dozens of beta orbiters who are blowing up her social media, her IG, her Facebook, like sending her multiple DMs like, girl, uh, when are we going to hang out? I want to take you to this new restaurant that just opened up. It's a steakhouse and, you know, I just got my paycheck and, uh, girl, I want to spend it on you because you deserve it, girl. You deserve it. You never hear these beta males, these simps. You deserve it. You deserve it. No, you don't deserve it, right? <laughs> Obviously not her, but you hear a lot of these simps like, you know, that are in her life. A lot of these beta orbiters that she has are wanting to treat her like a princess or wanting to take her out on proper dates or not wanting to just use her for sex. They're willing to court her, to use an old term, right? They're willing to court her. She doesn't want to be courted. She just wants to be railed by a bad boy, by a guy who stands up to her, by a guy who exercises his masculine frame. Why? Because that's so rare to see these days. And this is why I've told you guys over and over, um, I've never seen pickup work so well in my life. It's insane. Uh, I've told my students this. I'm like, this is just crazy. <laughs> because I was always told back in the day, they're like, eventually, this pickup will no longer work. Eventually, women will catch on to it. Eventually, women will become smarter because they're smarter than men. They will become smarter and wise up and realize, and then you pickup artists will be out of business. Ha ha ha. And it's like, uh, that hasn't happened. Actually, the reverse has happened, and it works even better because women are so starved for a, well, modern women, young modern women are so starved for a real man. A real man who stands his ground. A real man who doesn't kowtow to her and her womanhood because that's what the mainstream is telling you to do. That's what Disney is telling you to do. Oh, yeah, she's a woman. She's a woman. Bow down. Bow down, you peasant. Bow down. No. Well, like, hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more. We don't care, right? And thank God you found material like this. Thank God you found the red pill. Thank God you found any pill, because at least if you're aware of the pills, you will wake up to your stupidity. Okay, you'll wake up to your stupidity. Even if you learn about the blue pill, you'll realize like, shit, I'm a dumbass. I've been caving into these girls, giving them what they want, you know, spending all my energy and effort trying to take them out on a proper date because I thought they were a lady and I wanted to treat them like a lady. And here she is just going over some guy's house at 9 p.m. who's not even her boyfriend. She admitted that. She's like, he's not even my man. Well, why am I here? But I'm here. <laughs> there she is banging this guy. And this is also, too, guys, why I tell you. Very important lesson. Never listen to what the girl says. Just watch her actions. If you want to know the truth about any female, just pay attention to her actions. Don't listen to a word she says. Because all these females tell you, I just want a guy who will be chivalrous, old-fashioned, guy who will pick me up and open the car door and buy me whatever I want. But do they end up going for those guys? No, okay? No, no. They don't, uh, they don't go for those guys until much later when their options start to close, okay? Because when their options start to close, their eyes start to open and they're like, shit, I'm running out of options. I have to land that beta that dumb beta provisioner who will whip out his wallet and pay for me. But when they're young and hot, no, they're definitely not gonna do that. They're, they're in a position where they're getting so many guys, so many betas, and I mean, it's kind of understandable. You get so many betas, I mean, imagine being a hot girl. You get so many of these betas just like wanting to give you the world and just constantly, <laughs> just validating you, right? Validating your ego and just telling you how great you are and 
you know, how wonderful you are. But then you get a guy who comes along and like, you're not all that, you know. I've seen better heads on a beer bottle. You know, you're just, you're okay, you're average, you know, and treats her as such. That's when she's like, wait, what's wrong with this guy? Ooh, there must be something special about him. And then you can get away with really bad behavior, like not messaging her till 9 p.m. at night, not needing to take her on any dates. Just come on over, girl. You know what's up. Come on over. And she's like, okay. And she just comes over. Whereas the nice guy can't pull that off, right? Nice guy can't pull that off because she knows she can get away with using the nice guy. Whereas with the alpha Chad, the bad boy, the jerks, um, she can't pull that off, right? Or just real men, period, right? Masculine men. She knows that will not work. And what I love about what's going on with our community these days is more and more guys are waking up. You are waking up, okay? And that's probably the one good thing about social media is that we can reach just tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of men out there and wake them up and educate them. Like, hey, you've kind of been a dumbass all your life, right? A lot of guys who find my channel, it's like, this is just like, just like such an awakening for them. And they can't believe like how they've been asleep their entire lives. And it's, it's almost like feeding a starving person food for the first time. They're like, oh my God, this is so great. And it's just like, you know, they feel like they're home because they're finally getting the education that they missed out on their entire lives, right? The education you need to survive out there, spot future DG like this chick, right? Because I tell you, I mean, she's, she's going to do this well throughout her 20s, right? She's going to continue to date these bad boys, these alpha chads, these guys who just get her, get her pilot lit. Like, ooh, so hot for this guy. Ooh, what has he done? Something about him, so hot, right? She's going to continue to go for these guys uh, until she hits her 30s when these guys stop coming around because that is the thing with bad boys, jerks, a-holes, and even just masculine guys, like I was saying, just real men, is, uh, you know, we just stop coming around. You know, once you turn 30, we just stop coming around. Unless we're in a relationship with you, right? But in order to get a high-value guy in a relationship with you, you have to have something to offer beyond sex. You have to have something to offer beyond sex. You have to have a low body count, right? That means you have not slept with a whole lot of men. Right? I mean, preferably, if I want to settle with somebody, um, you know, these are my own standards. It better be under five. I mean, if, and that's really low these days, but if you have more than five... Um, I don't need to go there. I have a lot of options. I don't need to go there. But you have to have a low body count, okay? Uh, you have to be feminine. You have to be a good person, great companionship. You have to be supportive. Uh, you have to be respectful, know when to shut it. Don't challenge me every second for the lead in this relationship. Act like a woman, okay? Act like a woman, and I promise you, I will act like a man, and let me enjoy my masculinity and you can enjoy your femininity. Problem with most modern women today, especially these young modern women who are uh, being indoctrinated by the mainstream, they're being taught otherwise. They're being taught to, I don't need a man and just let him have it, girl. So what? He's stupid, you know, and just no respect at all for you. And you see the result of this. You see the result of this. Like girls out there, young ladies, um, basically are no longer acting like ladies. They're just acting like dudes. So you'll see where this chick ends up in about eight years, because she looks about 22. So you'll see where she is in about eight years when she hits that magic 3-0. And you'll see her complete demeanor and mindset change. She's not gonna be wanting to go over some guy's house at 9 p.m. anymore, unless that dude takes her to dinner. She's not going to be just letting you, you know, rail her and do all this nonsense unless you invest in her. But right now, she's letting these guys get away with it. And you know what? I feel sorry for the beta orbiter who's going to pick this girl up in her 30s and provide for her knowing or not knowing just all these, uh, all these guys that uh, basically treated her like crap. And now you have to come in and do all the heavy lifting that none of these guys had to do.
It's not fair, right? It's not fair. But this is why you got to educate yourself and you got to wake up to this nonsense that these girls are pulling on you. All right? So, as always, guys, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think about her little rant there, as well as my own. Share your comments below. I love to read them. I love to hear from you guys. And I know you guys are going to have a lot to say on this one. So, share below. And with that said, I'm going to wrap up here. Until next time, this is M from the 33 Secrets. Go ahead and smash that like button below. Do it now. Also, hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on YouTube. More importantly, guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Helps me out a ton when you guys subscribe, so please make sure you subscribe to my channel as well. And for all you guys who want to support my work and all of this incredible, amazing red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content that I am teaching you even further, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I am talking about eights, nines, and tens, baby. The hottest women on the planet. Okay, I teach you how to do that in seven months of mastery. And you know what? I have tons, thousands upon thousands of successful students now all around the world. Okay, a lot of these guys often drop comments in my comment section talking about their, how they're in my program, they've met their dream girl, they've met their future wife. I've had a number of students who've been through my seven months of mastery program already met their wife thanks to my teachings, right? They met a high value, high caliber, hot wife, right? Way above what they were able to get previously before they jumped into my program, Seven Months of Mastery, they were able to get a girl who was much, much more attractive, much hotter, and much higher value thanks to my teachings. And you know what? I want you to become one of them. Even if you don't plan on getting married, find yourself a cool chick, a high value chick, not one of these like low value, like DG single moms or you know, women who are passive prime or damaged goods or anything like that. I want to teach you how to go out there and get high value women, just like my students are all around the world. You can become one of us. And all you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you could get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds and it's only one buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons. So it's only $1 for the entire first month of high value coaching lessons from me. So take advantage of it. And it's the best way to support my work guys. And thank you very much if you do. I appreciate it. Thanks in advance. And let's crack on out of here. two months to fuck this guy raw and after we fucked raw he goes to me Yay! I dated this guy that didn't have health insurance and I was his personal STI test Yay! I dated a guy who had me drive him to CVS to pick up my Valentine's Day present Yay! I got played by a guy that wanted me first Woo! both the guys that were talking to you got girlfriends Woo! The last guy I hooked up with doesn't remember my name. Woo! I'm a short boy. Me and my twin sister had sex in the same room. <laughs> my boyfriend of two years had another girlfriend the whole time. <laughs> Hi, my name's Stefania, and I have more bodies than all my friends combined. Yay! One time I dated a man for three months, and he still never kissed me. Yay! I tatted my boyfriend's name on my chest, and he cheated on me a week later. Yay! I let my ex borrowed my car, and he crashed it on his way to visit his other girlfriend. Yeah! I went over to my girlfriend's house, and she told me that I was just an experiment, and she got back with her boyfriend. Yeah! The bar I set for men is so low that when he texts me out of the blue so he can use me again, I get happy because he's choosing to use me again. Yeah! The bar I set for men is so low that when he offers to pay for my plan B, I think he's a gentleman. Yeah! 
The bar I set for men is so low that when he told me he fucked his ex and his best friend, I said, thank you for being honest. Yay! The bar I set for men is so low that when he comes to pick me up for a date and he actually knocks on the door, I'm ready to propose. Yay! The bar I set for men is so low that when he told me he didn't want to see me again, I was happy at least he didn't ghost me. Yay! I sneak my boyfriend in while my parents are sleeping. <laughs> I steal my dad's credit card to buy my boyfriend weed. I dated a really nice guy, then broke up with him and dated his best friend. <laughs> I lost my virginity in the back of a car. <laughs> I dated my best friend's stepbrother. <laughs> I went back to my cheating ex. <laughs> my ex has hooked up with all of my friends. Yeah! <laughs> I hooked up with my best friend's boyfriend. <laughs> So I was talking to a guy for three years and he never made me his girlfriend. <laughs> Yay! There's always a little humor in truth, right? I made that video for a reason. Now those 25 females, they look between the ages of 18 and 24, 25. So they're at that prime age where they should be somewhat settling down and trying to find a quality guy to stick to and start a quote unquote family. But they're celebrating their dysfunction, their chaos, they're laughing and clapping at all their mishaps in life and the things that they've done wrong and the poor decisions that they've made. Guys, just because you meet a woman young or old doesn't mean that she's not going to have issues, doesn't mean she's not going to have baggage, okay? Don't think that, oh, she's a unicorn. She's 23, she's 22, she's 25. I, I got her in her prime, so, so she's a good girl. She's perfect, she's clean. No, every single female, white, black hispanic and there's been all races pretty much in that, that video that you just saw of the 25 women they all have things going on think guys that they've been with uh, guys that they they cheated on with guys who cheated on them all types of stuff so no female is clean no female has a clean slate or clean sheet and she's just a good girl she sits around doing nothing because most of those females they just look innocent right they look like, hey, they go to school or they maybe go to their job. And after that, they just come home and they just twiddle their thumbs. No, these women are out here of all ages getting down, sleeping around, hooking up, talking to this dude, talking to that dude, getting cheated on, che uh, cheating on their boyfriends, leaving nice guys, all this stuff. They're doing everything under the sun, right? And that was the PG version that I just showed you of those 25 females. So imagine a rated R version, right? It's, it's crazy because so many guys think that their girlfriend uh, doesn't have a past. Their wife, the, the woman that they're dating, the woman that bats her eyes and she doesn't have any tattoos and she has you know, her, her, her natural hair color. She doesn't have green, purple, all these different hair colors. That she's a good girl. This is the one, right? So what I'm trying to do for you guys is paint a picture. I don't want you brothers to get out there in the field, deal with women, or if you have a girlfriend right now and think that, hey, she's not cheating on me, she's not talking to any other guy, she doesn't fantasize about other guys, she doesn't have guys on her phone. I don't want you guys to think that because these women most likely have higher body counts than you and have done more freakier, dirtier, nastier things than you could ever imagine. <laughs> Trust me, I've been there with some of these females and this is how they get down. They have a lot of time on their hands. So as a man, as you're building, you're trying to grind and grow your life and get more income and, and do different things in life and progress and, and move up in the company. What these women are doing is doing stuff behind their parents back, their boyfriends back. They're sleeping with different dudes over here. Some females said that, oh, um, I got my uh, boyfriend name tattooed on me. He still cheated on me. Other females said, oh, I went back to this dude after he cheated. I left a nice guy. So it's all types of things that these women are doing. Black females, white females, Hispanic. They're, they're all in the mix. Dark skin, light skin, white chicks. They're doing a lot of different stuff. Okay, so it's across the board. There's no like specific race of women that are like 100% loyal. That Like you can't just go to Brazil. You can't just go to Japan. You can't go to a certain island on the map and say, okay, boom. Okay, that's Easter Egg Island. I know all the women are, are don't cheat there. All the women are gonna be loyal. No. Okay, so never give a woman 100% the benefit of the doubt. Okay, because 
there's a high chance that she has baggage. She's done things and she'll continue to act on those things. OK, so if you want to know a woman's future, look at her past. And what's crazy is those females are going to be mothers if they're not already mothers. They're going to be wives. They're probably a girlfriend. So it's, it's women everywhere who are confessing this stuff. All right. So no female is innocent. They get down. They have secrets. It's crazy. You got you got to applaud those females because they're actually exposing themselves. Because so many guys are mad. They get frustrated at women. They're they're angry. They're like, man, these females, man, look at the look what she just say. Listen, you should applaud them. They're being honest in a joking way. And they're trying to make it seem like, oh, yay, and try to smooth it over. But these females are being 100 percent honest with you guys. OK, and they want to make it appear as though that they're good girls. But no, everybody has things that they've done in the past. I have, you have watching the video, your girlfriend, your mother, your sister, your aunt, your great grandmother, your grandmother, your future girlfriend, the girl you're taking on a date tonight, tomorrow, this weekend, every female has done things and they're still doing things behind your back. A lot of the times they're, they're do it and they don't care if they, you catch them. They're just like, okay, well, whatever. I just want to do this. Okay. So don't get this. Uh, mindset of, oh, I found the unicorn, I found the one, and you get tunnel vision, and then you mess around and get hurt, and then you, you feel bad, you say, well, uh, how could she do this to me? I'm showing you, those females look nice and innocent, like, and then they're clapping like, yeah, <laughs> they're clapping like everything's all cool, right, like, it's all cool, it's all fine, and yeah, it's okay, girl, and then they're just trying to, you know, give them a pat on the back, they take, it's confessions, applaud these women say hey thanks thanks for telling me this because this is gonna get you over that anger and frustrated phase with women that that uh super red pill phase that, that you're that you're really like oh i gotta ask to ground with these women no they're telling you what they do so you won't go out in the field or, or deal, deal with the next girl or a girl you're dealing with now and you're like oh man she did that to me what she, she did what yeah your girlfriend, your wife has a past. It's just how it is. You got to get over it. Okay. Either you accept it or just steer, steer clear from them. But these women have a lot of psychological issues. Most of them need medication. They have slept around. They, they, they've done a lot of stuff that you could never imagine. And you look at your girlfriend or woman like she could never do that. Haven't you walked down the street? You like, oh man, she looks like, like girlfriend, wife material. The ones that look like the good girls, those are the ones who are actually getting it in, actually getting down. Now, those females, they don't look ratchet. They don't look like crazy, dirty. They don't look, quote unquote, hood or anything like that or bougie, right? They look like you're running the mill, everyday female. That you'll say, oh, she make a good girlfriend. She looks pretty pleasant somewhat, right? Wrong. Every woman has a past. Every woman has done things. Old young the present the future and here's the thing women can get away with it a lot more because they're good at hiding things so again these women are confessing to you their shortcomings the pitfalls the bad decisions that they've made give them a pat on the back